overwhelmed domestically and now overrun internationally. The Bidens need to appease their paymasters, and it's all coming into full view with their freak out over lack of contact, no callback. They were ghosted by China. First, Deputy, Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman lobbied against the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act in 2021. And now she's blocking sanctions on CCP officials and companies like Huawei. Why? Well, because she was eager to reschedule the Tony Blinken trip, according to Reuters sources. This administration's outreach to the CCP has us on clinger watch. I got to get out of here, Prano. I got a stage five clinger. I don't know. I need more time. Did you hear what I just said to you? Stage five? <laughs> Bloomberg reporting the White House has proposed meetings and calls from the lowest level all the way up to a possible conversation between Xi and Biden. Now, I would say that all the begging means we risk losing any leverage at all we had with China. But look, we lost that long ago. The Biden administration doesn't want leverage on China. They just want President Xi to be happy, or at least pretend to be happy. When Americans are angry with the federal government, they tell those Americans just suffer, deal with it. When President Xi is angry, wow, they act like eighth graders waiting to hear from their crush. Please call me back. Joining me now, Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, even Bloomberg had to kind of scoff at this, uh, this loss of any leverage that the administration may have had by its persistent, constant begging of China for a meeting. What about this? Uh, Laura, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's a stage five clinger alert. It's like an eighth grader chasing after a crush. It's pathetic and embarrassing, and it does nothing but embolden Chinese communists when they think that Joe Biden and all of his administration is willing to trade away all of these concrete, needful actions for our national security just for a phone call or for a meeting. Remember, it goes back to the very beginning of our administration when Tony Blinken and Jake Sullivan went to Alaska and met with their Chinese counterparts and got berated with BLM left-wing talking points and, and just took it. Or, or look back to the balloon incident itself, which apparently was part of the reason why the State Department canceled all of these needful sanctions. Remember, we knew about that balloon, I should say the Biden administration knew, Congress didn't, days before it was revealed. And it was only revealed when some ranchers and a photographer in Montana discovered it. Why the delay? because they were trying to preserve Tony Blinken's trip to China just a couple days later. Look, there's nothing wrong with sitting down with your adversaries. Ronald Reagan did it a lot with Mikhail Gorbachev in his second term. Once he had established the strength and credibility to make it clear that we expected outcomes from those talks, not just sitting down to talk for the sake of talking. All right. Well, as I noted in the open, Senator, uh, Wendy Sherman was the one who lobbied against protecting the Uyghurs. That legislation, that initiative to, to actually, we would, we would effectively be putting our stamp on this idea of not allowing the continued persecution of them. She didn't want that. Now she's the lead in, the, in, in any conversation yeah, with China? What does that tell China? Well, that's a very alarming report. Remember, Wendy Sherman is also someone who's been in democratic foreign policy failures going back to the North Korea nuclear talks in the mid-1990s or the Iran nuclear deal under President Obama. If she's in charge now of China policy in the State Department, that's very alarming. Uh, she's, as you said, was lobbying against sanctions for China, using slave labor to try to import goods into America putting sanctions on Huawei, uh, in which we're in a steep competition around the world to try to win the 5G race. It's very worrying if Wendy Sherman has been given a free hand inside the State Department to address our China policy. Yeah, it makes China happy. It reports tonight that she'll be leaving the administration soon. We'll see if that actually transpires. Senator, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.